Hello everybody and welcome back to Mountain Bleed with me Nihai Hobo where last time we entered in a competition and we won and everybody is super super stoked on us even if they don't know it. <coughs> um, so before we start I'd like to do my hellos. So first of all um, welcome to Why Me, Jeanette Kerry, NBR28, this is Carsenia or Carsenia. Uh, sorry if I've mispronounced that, and also again another new user um, who at the time didn't have a username, so that's uh, all the information I have on you. And to quickly tell you to, um, if you can, go and chip, uh, go and contribute to the um, Movember chipping widget at the bottom of the description at the end of the video. Uh, I'm uh, going to be growing a um, some mutton chops if you don't know what those are that's basically uh, what wolverine has like the the chunks of hair on each cheek and and no beard or mustache for something called movember which is to raise awareness in uh, male te uh, well I always say male but in testicular cancer um but they also contribute to just uh, cancer causes generally cancer research causes um a very good cause i'm sure you'll agree um, you can go to Movember's website, uh, it's also uh, for the ladies as well, um, and uh, you can check out what they're all about, but if you, if you, if you would, uh, if you do have a little bit of extra cash knocking about that you wouldn't mind donating, sure as hell would appreciate it, I will be doing something for everybody who contributes, um, no matter how small the contribution, um, it all helps and it all goes uh, to a good cause, uh, so um, yeah. Without further ado, we will uh, leave this place and we will continue on our quest. Now, I don't want to get tangled up with these guys too much. Uh, but if I have to, I will. Because I think I can beat them. Uh, so, the quest was... Oh, uh, right, so we've got to go back looking for Lord Farm. Uh, this guy. Uh, last time you saw him, so Ambi. We're going back over, sort of here. If I oh no, it's there. Yeah, they're not particularly bothered in this. That's fine. The best way, by the way, and I'm sure I'll get to prove this at some point. But um, oh, here he is. The best way to beat cavalry is a shield wall is to just stand in a big line, let them crash into you, take all the momentum out of them, um, and um, that's, that's how you deal with it. But you, you just need overwhelming numbers to do that. Um, having archers is all good and well, but um, not before it's time. So, do you have any tasks for me? It happens before, I promised King Ragnar that I would hire a company of mercenaries for an upcoming campaign. What do you say to entering the service of the Kingdom of the Nords as a mercenary captain? I have no doubt that you will be up to the task. Uh, I think we'll join the Kingdom of the Nords then, as we've put so much work in. For, perfect. Of course, you'll have to make a formal declaration of allegiance and give an oath uh, that you will, uh, that your company will remain in the service of the Kingdom of the Nords for a period of no less than three months. On your, um, as you wish, your, your enemies are my enemies. Uh, so, we have had quite the adjustment. We effectively now have gone to war. Uh, now, I suggest you prepare for a serious campaign, train and equip your soldiers as best you can in the meantime, and respond quickly when you're summoned for duty. We can go back to the muster fields and equip our troops with some better quality armour. Um, a group of my soldiers were captured in a recent skirmish with the enemy. Thankfully, we have a mutual agreement on the prisoner exchange, and they will release my men. But if they want to give us prisoners, right, even rank and numbers prisoners, I don't find me six Swanian infantry prisoners that I may exchange for them. I don't know if we can. We could give it a crack. But I mean, to find. Um. So if we start heading back over to the training field first. Um, and maybe... No, if I could, there are only farmers with pitchforks. We'll let them train up at their own pace and then just keep on replacing them with chaff. 
Um, so we're looking for a small... Oh, we could, we could use these guys to train our guys. But we're looking for just a very small detachment. You're naked. Um, I'm going to charge them. And it's going to be me first. Ha ha. Come on, Manuel. Follow me. I mean, they're brave. I'll give them that. But they don't have a lot of choice in the matter. But to turn up naked. Don't. Oops. It's Badly Drawn Boy. If you don't know who that is, Google it. It's funny. Watch where you're firing that shit. I was hoping that whilst he was whilst he was sat in that um, position, that somebody was just going to plant an arrow on him. <laughs> you see, that's the other thing as well. They all shout when they when you won. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, tab key. That was it. I <laughs> completely forgot what I had to do there. Um, we'll have some hats and a hatchet. Uh, oh, that's better. That this is good. This is much better loot. Um, I actually thought the loot from them was going to be a bit shit. I mean, it's not the, the best loot, but it's better than what we've been getting. That much is true. Um, uh, see your equipment. We can do some swapping out at this point. So we'll take that off, yeah. And we'll add 21 to body. We've got, oh, we've got better on the legs. We're going to be dressed the same. Uh, but apart from the hat, which you've already got. Okay, so that's... Uh, but we'll get rid of the... Um, yeah, 23. Get rid of that and give you that. We could redo really with giving them a shield, in all honesty. That would be... Um, that would be uber good. Right, return. Never mind. And... Let's go. Uh... Right, so let's just sort of hang around here a little bit and see. Of course, we could be the little detachment that others are looking for. 92, so yeah, we, we're fine. Of course, as the troops get more experience, they get more um, expensive. But, see, the party morale is only just going up a little bit. Um, character reports... Uh, base morale, party size, recent events. I suppose that hunting down four people is, is going to sort of upset them a little bit. Uh, but the party size, hmm, there's not a huge amount I can do about that right now. No, still nobody... Um, once true, once uh, once training. Oh, I hear something. What's this? So what have we got here? Hmm. I wonder if. Um, Just camp here for a moment. Uh, right, we can't read a book. Take an action. Yeah, okay. We'll just we'll just wait here for some time and just see what the out oh see what the outcome of this is. Mm, it doesn't look like it's going to be too favourable. 
No, it's definitely not going to be favourable. We need to probably leave for a little while. I was hoping that that, that battle might leave them tired and broken. And we could have just rode in like true heroes. Now, he was after me. I think we may have just been a little bit too quick for him. Um, so that's 70. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, see, these guys are starting to follow us now. See, that would have been... These village farmers would have been not too bad. But then again, we need prisoners. Um, so actually, no, we can't take prisoners, can we? <clears throat> I don't know if we can cancel it now that we've taken it. I don't think we can. Um, we'll probably need to go and sell we'll buy a couple of clubs because I don't think we've got any clubs in our um, uh, let's see your equipment yeah we don't have any clubs but the thing is if I tell all the troops to use blank, uh, blunt weapons um then they're gonna just use the fist and get killed very quickly and it completely um no completely negates the point of doing it <clears throat> doing anything in the first place so let's go is there no other major towns Ah, Sargoth. Let's go to Sargoth. We're approaching Sargoth. That's where I headed when the Kithgrits got me. Tell me more. People say that the Nords are just a bunch of bloodthirsty barbarians, but they have good uh, they have a good head for trade, if you ask me. <clears throat> they make people up and down the coast grow flax, which uh, they weave here into linen. It can't completely so, uh, I can't be bothered with that. I'm cutting into their monopoly. All oh, right, okay. So that was just a bit about his story where. Um, he was kidnapped when he had a lot of stuff on him. Boo-hoo. Um, <clears throat> marketplace. That's what we're after. Let's see if we can buy a club arms merchant. Hmm. Apparently not. And I don't want to spend any money on Mandarin because... Um, my trend, whatever his name is, because one day he will just up and leave. No reason. No warning. Just pff, gone. Um, and then he takes all, his, takes all your stuff with him. So I'll give him the better stuff when we come across it, but I'm not buying anything for him. Mm. Just a sledgehammer. Heavy maul. Balanced sledgehammer. Nope, okay. What about a lance? We've got a lance in here. That's sort of what we're after, but not entirely. Um, not javelin. Not arrow. Pike. Oh, cannot be used on horseback. Heavy lance. That's... Yes. That's how we're going into battle now, people. That. Uh, what have we got? Resistance size 2. Resistance 2, size 60. Resistance 1, size 60. <clears throat> Resistance 3, 40. 
Size 84, resistance 1. Size 15. Resistance 7, size 60. I like that. Thick kite shield. Maybe we'll have that as well. But I don't want to go mental. Uh, goods merchant. What have we got? Nothing really of any interest. Um, see if we've got any gloves these days. See, I'd like that, but it's uh, a little out of our, a wee bit out of our price range. Even thick leather gauntlets are. Uh, um, a little bit, a little bit pricey. It's very rare to come across them in the battlefield. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess um, that we will leave and we can always go and hang around in this area again and see see what happens next. Ooh. Oh, that's 44. I thought it said 4 and 4. No, that's 39. Um, okay, get, let's go join in with this. Um, and see if we can get anything. So let's charge the enemy. Stay on me. Hold your fire, advance 10 paces forward, but stand closer, spread out. Um, right, controls. What? Use blunt weapons. F11, so it's right. One and F11. So let's see what sort of fuster clip this is. Is there any cavalry in that? No. See, my guys are all going to go in and start thumping. And Manuel's at the front going, oh, I fucking told you. I told you my club was a good idea. Right, let's just see if we can sort of level things out a little bit. Oh, that's not gone well. However, now we should have a little bit of an advantage. Just provided we can get a turn on him. Because all we have to do is just hit him a little bit. There we go. No more cavalry. He hit me from all the way over there on a hill. Oh. 
come on horse faster really is it me versus all of these guys okay we'll uh, we'll do the heroic thing and run away with our shield on our back okay everybody use whatever goddamn weapon you have These are all the reinforcements, are they? So we're going to hold this position here. Oh, do I have no men left? Oh, no, they're there. And we're going to hold it with the archers. This is a battle which has got quite a quite a lot of legs on it. Um, still got <clears throat> quite a quite a ways quite a ways to go. Um, so we'll oh, just hold this position. Just as I told them to charge, I get knocked out. So what do we get? Your casualties, one killed, one wounded. Two, two, three, five. Let's see. Um Yeah, helping a little bit against the loss. You have twenty-seven against the enemy's eleven. Yeah, we will do this. And I'm gonna stay out of it. You guys you guys go mental. Gonna edge in slowly. <clears throat> gonna have them fall in on me. But it's only gonna be one shot is going to be the difference. So I think we're gonna stand here. So we'll get them to hold here in the shield wall and we'll use the tree for cover. You guys charge. I'll, I'll, I'll be right behind you. I'll stay. <laughs> I mean, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, we we, oh, gee, we can only hold five prisoners, can't we? Stop killing them! You used to knock them out. Yes, that was I, guys. Stop killing them, guys. I don't even know who's who now. I'm just gonna stay out of this. Put my shield up and, and just see what, what happens. Oh, you came out a bit wrong, didn't you? So, oh, it's three North veterans, two killed, one wounded. Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't met properly, have we? What's your name? My name is Lord Forlorn. Well met, Lord Forlorn. 
I am Lord Largan, La Lord Logris, and thank you for your help. I hope we meet again. Um, uh, it's a shame he escaped. Hat shield. He can have a shield now. Um, but no blunt weapons. Ooh, 11 to head armor. Um, that will be good news for Manuel. There, uh, see, ah, we lost quite a few guys in that. Um, so let's give Manuel his. Um, his Jews. Uh, um, let me see your equipment. Um, I don't think either of these are any better, but yes, you can have a shield with no resistance. The first time that meets a hammer, you have had it. Uh, 14 to leg, 16 to body. Yep, I don't, oops, I don't think any of those are, are going to be any good to anybody. So I'm going to call that the end of the episode as well. So uh, don't forget to um, pop down to the bottom of the descriptions there and uh, let's say pop over onto the uh, the chipping widget and donate what you can for uh, for November and. Um, also, don't forget to rate, comment. Oh, sorry, and that's to mention as well that um, November, uh, if it's past December 1st, 2012, then please don't contribute um, uh, because it will have finished. So that's December 1st, 2012. It runs for um, November only, but of course it runs every November. Um, so yeah, with that all taken care of, my name is Nihai Hoba. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.